Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about how to write the test cases for a given mobile application. So I will be demonstrating how the overall test case template would look like and also I will be writing the test cases for any mobile app testing. So first of all, let us understand how the, the test case template would look like. If you can see right, the first column normally we will have test case number the followed by a test cases or a test steps. If a given test case is having multiple steps, then we will have an additional column with the steps in it. And also we will have a test data. For a given test cases, if you wanted to execute, then if there is a requirement of a test data requirement, then we have to mention the test data as well for that given test cases. Then also we will have a expected results. What is the expected results from that given test case that we will be detailing out here and also the actual results during execution whatever the results you got whatever the output you got that we will call it as a actual results then based on the comparison between the expected results and actual results so we will be defining the pass or fail for a given test cases if there is a fail is happening in a given test cases then we will be logging the defects that's how the overall uh, the test case template would look like. The first test case is we can install any mobile app by going to the Google Play Store for Android or uh, App Store for uh, iOS uh, mobile apps and we will try to install from there. If mobile app is able to install properly then the expect result should be the mobile app should be able to install successfully. That is the expected result out of these test cases. Then the second test case is even we can without going to play store or app store still we can install a mobile app by having a dot apk file for android and ipa file for iphone you can use that and still you can install the mobile app after successfully after successfully installing the mobile app then application app icon should be on the home screen after installation if you are trying to uninstall a given mobile app then the mobile app should be able to uninstall successfully and it should erase or delete all the data related to the given mobile app while the installed mobile app is running we wanted to check whether the user can perform any other operation like telephone call sms's whatsapp messages or any other operation user can still do the other operations. The expected result should be there should not be any dependency should be there for a given app and any other operations by simulating the low memory in a given devices. If memory is very low then you should alert the user saying that your mobile is having a low memory in it. In user is should be able to exit from the mobile app by pressing any special keys defined for a given mobile app then it should exit it as well or you can say log out as well from then the next test cases would be if you wanted to minimize the app you can uh, press the appropriate key defined as per the requirement or you can press the home key then that time the mobile app should get minimize that is another case we wanted to test verify a battery consumption for a given application there are certain application makes use of huge battery consumption because battery sources are very limited and we wanted to guarantee that minimum possible battery should be consuming for a given uh, mobile app that also we wanted to validate as part of the given test cases while charging the mobile there should not be impact on the mobile app still we should be able to access the mobile app without having any problem when i'm going to open maybe five different apps ten different apps and we wanted to see how the this app is going to behave the expected result should be there should not be any dependency there should not be any conflict should happen when the ram is not available or enough ram is not available as well you should throw right error messages or you should work smoothly verify the notification related functionality every mobile apps we can set for a notification related to that mobile app and we wanted to test that as well whenever we are trying to set a particular notification for a given mobile app which we are testing then appropriate uh, 
the notification should also get as part of uh, any notification when we are trying to swipe the the notification bar then appropriately you should get cleared without having any challenges we wanted to test few scenarios like where i will be disabling the notification because user doesn't want to get too many notifications and app should not uh, display any device notification in the notification bar verifying the internet usage of a mobile lab this is also very crucial because internet cost money and we wanted to consume as much as little internet little data as much as possible so that uh, people can use this mobile apps without having any challenges whenever we are trying to perform certain operation in a given mobile app and we wanted to test what happens suddenly internet goes away or whenever internet data is disabled now when we do that when we try to simulate that kind of situation then it should immediately throw there is a network error is happening and there is no network and also we want to test the mobile apps with the different network conditions like 2g 3g 4g wi-fi and so on and we wanted to ensure that all these network condition your mobile app should work seamlessly so if there is a restriction in a given mobile app and we wanted to open that what will happen when there is a restriction is there for a given mobile app to open up then you should not run those app in a background verifying the default saving location because for every mobile app by default there is a certain location will be defined like downloads all the savings will happen in the particular downloads location and also we wanted to verify all the swipe actions like left right up and down for a given mobile app and you should uh, work all the swipe action very smoothly without having any issue that kind of test cases also we should test for a given mobile app we wanted to verify the keyboard related uh, test cases and whenever we are trying to access the mobile app and the keyboard also should uh, work seamlessly so whenever we are trying to click on back button when the virtual keyboard is open then it should get hidden test all the zoom in and zoom out uh, actions on the mobile app then uh, whenever we do this zoom in zoom out on a given mobile app then appropriately it should work seamlessly without having any challenges on the given mobile app these are the some of the very basic test cases we can go and adopt in any mobile app testing i'm hoping you guys really like this video if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video